big tower to the left. All right, guys, this is Grinder from Cobra. Walking this uh, field we've never stepped foot on before. And it looks awesome, guys. Lots of hills, lots of structures. And this is only the, uh, the first few, I would say, 100 feet into the field. And we're already loving it. This is freaking awesome. And uh, so far, I'm very impressed with what I see. I don't know if you can see off in the distance, but there's uh, structures everywhere. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. As you can see, here's the map. We are right around here, walking up to Bond, and that's going to be our base where we insert. As you can see, lots of foliage, lots of places to hide. A hundred acres, folks. This place looks awesome. I see props everywhere I can see off in the distance. You may not be able to see in the camera, but everywhere I look, it's props. I'm sorry, structures, bunkers. I am just totally pumped. I cannot wait to start this game. We got ghosts over here. And Hey, what do you guys think? Very nice. Very, very nice, man. I, I like cannot it. wait to start. Look at the incline of these hills. Oh, he's going to kick our butt, but nice. It's going to be awesome. He's going to be very talented and very good. All right, so we're walking further down the field. I don't know if you can tell, but there's quite an incline. Uh, certainly not flat out here. This is Bear Claw Paintball in Fayetteville, Tennessee. Our first time to step foot right on the field. Okay. And it is pretty freaking awesome. Look at this building, guys. The game that we will be playing will be Red Dawn. And we'll be on the Russian no, side. No, that's, that's, no, that's and we'll be that's invading that. this territory that's and taking out the Wolverines. We got them all yeah, over there. That's that's right there. Cobra has made the drive out here 14 hours and we are pumped. More structures everywhere I look there's structures. There's a little bridge. And going up this hill. More structures. And apparently this is a submarine up here distance. Looks pretty badass. That's what I've always heard guys. It's a different name this one but... Okay. Alright, so we're continuing to walk the field, yeah, studying the map. No, it's a little off. So the air base is past that? So the air base is past that? Yeah. Dude. Alright, moving up. I gotta get more Again, lots of bunkers everywhere we look. Quite an incline. Yeah, this hill pretty much sucks walking up with all your gear on. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, let's go. Bam. You see how dense, it's not too dense, but it's dense enough to find a lot of hiding places. But not, not too dense where you get bogged down. So they keep this field uh, pretty clean. Moving up here, going up this hill. We should be around. The air base. This thicket, there's roads to go all the way down. And there's some more buildings way down here, but I don't think that you might have to run missions down there, but they're not a big deal. Because the bases are usually all the way down there, but they're not. But there's still a whole lot past this right here. There's a couple two store buildings. So that's and snow, right? Yeah. We had this one far. rain. Where we had four sides. Yeah, you see that wow. that color yeah. thing right there? Okay. When, whenever the uh, there'd be a mission, and like you had to come and you'd spin this to whatever color you were on, and they got the points. Cool. But
snow. Mm -hmm. I touched your butt. Alright, so this is snow on the map. Mm -hmm. Continuing to walk the so field. Lots of big trees around here. As you can see, it says Wolverines. Kind of fits the uh, theme of the game there. So far, this field is very impressive. I just love how it inclines. More bunkers up here. And back here, it looks like it's it gets a little bit more dense. You can already see them sending people on missions way back here. All right, so is this N13? Spar right here. We're at Spar right now. Okay. Cool. So we're on N13. Yeah. Also, there's lots of little ditches. Tons of places to hide so here. Like, it's like wide open. Paper? Yeah. No, we're not, not used to the. We're used to more cover. No, I think there's a lot of. Uh, well, I mean, like I mean, there's, there's places to hide yeah. everywhere. And until you see tape, a physical tape <coughs> line, it's in play. Okay. Mm -hmm. so just smart. Yeah. There's a complete tape line. Do you guys play here a lot? Yeah. Because off on the back. You met my dad. Gets to the point where yeah. if you cross that yeah. tape line, you fall over a cliff 10 feet later. Okay. <laughs> All this going up, just go straight in. Remember that playing the night game. Right, looking back right? here, there's more bunkers and some and the night game is structures. So they have lights out here? No. Looks like everywhere we go. But the moon last night. There are structures. Did you see the moon last night? Uh, it looks like yeah, full moon. there's a full moon yesterday. This is gorgeous. This is the producer, moon. Ben Torcelli, he usually plants his game according to a lot of scenario producers do it according to the moon for the night game. It was you know, the cool thing about this field is you can kind of see everything from a distance, which would make it easy to learn. Yeah. This is going to be an easy field to learn. What is this? Look. <laughs> All right, this is going to be, what, a prior mall or plat? Is it plat? Is it plat? Check this out, guys. Look at this. Look how this structure dips into the ground. This looks like a blast. It's just a building. It looks like it's it's right on the ground, but it's really a dugout. That's pretty bad. Right? And look at the check these out. I'm not sure. Seems like all these buildings are uh, designed to look like they're really right on the ground, but your dugouts. That is very cool. I've slept in these bunkers before. <laughs> Night games about 2 a.m. Tired from playing all day. <laughs> Come on, boys, put your gun on safety. I'm tired. Let's go to bed. You just sit down for a second and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lots of small hills. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but basically, if you want to be invisible here, you can. You can hide it anywhere here. There's a little, little bridge. These cool little structures everywhere you go. And then down here is just a couple of miscellaneous bunkers until you go back Okay, so that field is the out of bounds line? Yes. Okay. Don't, you can't go in that field. And you can see... And don't shoot the cows. If you can see the red from here, that orangish tape going along, that's the other tape line. Because on the other side of that's just a pasture. Like the yellow and red down there, it's all marked okay. off. Okay, yeah, that looks over. like the end of the field there. And then so down there, all that's just miscellaneous, so it goes back to sub. But back up here, so we're here, here at the end of N13. This is all, I do believe, 100 acres. It's a huge Ew. field. Here, Max, will you carry this? I'm glad that the whole field is uh, open for all? play, is that correct? I'm, yes. I if it wasn't, it. then there would be a physical tape line. Yeah, that's just great. Yeah. That's a good bunker for Ray over there. The, what, the little one over there? <laughs> the one right here, too. What do you yeah, mean? Like this? Oh, yeah, those are awesome. 
And it's easy to build. There's like, okay, off in the distance, there's a really tall structure. Let's go check that out. All right, guys, we're on the southwest part of the field. And uh, one of the things I didn't mention before is we're pretty much on rock. You can see the rocks everywhere. We're going to have to be careful here. But uh, this place is solid. You can see how uh, steep the incline is. We're just checking out this map right now to make sure we understand this field before we hit the ground tomorrow. Game time is noon. And we are pumped. Hey, what is that up there? Is that Oak Creek? Oh, no. that's yep. Oh, no, that's Oak Creek. Oh, that's Oak Creek, okay. And what's this in the far? Where? What is that up there? I think that's Coda. That looks like Coda, yeah. That looks like more structures. Yeah, I mean. Let's go check it out. And there's a, a road here for tanks, I believe. There'll be some tanks in this game. That should be Oak Creek. That should be Oak Creek. Oh, look, they have more over there. Yeah, so it goes. It's just pretty amazing how there's structures everywhere. I mean, back there. That's probably Oak Creek. Okay, let's let's see. Yeah, because this, then this big thing over here is the tank bay. That's the tank bay. All right, so this road here, hey guys, this road is the N30, right? Yeah. Well, look, here's the tank. So this is soda. Tank base. Yep. Oh, okay. This actually, this right here is N um, N30. Is it? Yeah, that's how it is. N30. Okay. So that's Coda right there. This. This is Coda. Is it? You see where the cross is? Okay. That was that's Coda. All right. And that over there is Oak Creek. Okay, so and I guess down. it goes downhill a little wise. Follow this down. And that'll bring it back to the, we'll go around the part we hadn't seen yet. Which is All right. with the, the Pueblo, Camo, Decker. Yeah. All right, guys, we're walking up on the re-education camp. And this looks like some kind of a fort. Uh two levels decent sized fort and the cool thing about it is the guy on the second level is gonna have a, a great field of vision check it out yeah. all the way around so this over here is uh, this grand so we got a fort here two stories looks pretty badass And okay, this, so is this is Danny at uh, Firebase Pueblo. I see some sort of a tail for a like a chopper. Oh my god. It like goes to the left a little more. You know what? This is gonna kick our ass going up and down. Oh yeah.
All right, so right here, here we're walking up to the basin. Dom you dominate everybody. Almost right looks here. like a empty pond. A few structures in it. Looks a little dense. All right, we're going to continue on.